So, in case you guys were wondering my opinion on the, uh, the new update, I'm a fan. I like it. Um, it gives us the chance to uh, punish bad builders, you know. Um, it's not only the PvPers who rule the lands anymore. Also, solo players have a chance against larger groups, you know. There's those big-ass bases that were untouchable bases. You know, no one, no one could, could raid them because it just took so much materials to, to raid. You'd have to farm for weeks and weeks and weeks but now since you can just build right over their walls those bases cannot be raided so I like it I'm a fan I'm a fan this is easy for solo I don't know about that but it's definitely easier to raid I'll show you guys a trick that I use um, that a solo player could use and, and this would help you out suspect and stain probably won't like me sharing it but but oh well, I'll have to, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna share with you guys at some point. I probably won't make a video on it so you guys will get a little exclusive action here. And I think, I think everyone is thinking about this in the wrong way, right? Everyone's thinking of how do we keep, how do we keep players off of our roof? And we can't, we can't think of it that way. The way we need to think of it is how do we defend our roof, you know? Face Punch wants people to get on your roof and that's that. There's nothing you can do about it. You can slow them down. There's ways that you can slow them down, but you're not gonna stop them. You have to think in terms of how do I defend my roof? So you want to be able to punish people when they do get on your roof. So that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna be working on today. Um, one thing that I did wanna talk about is uh, rock bases because rocks are now a good thing to build on. If you can find the right ones, there's a specific one, this one right here. These are common. These are common. I'll, I'll fly around and find another one for you. But, um, you know, again, this is just going to slow them down. Uh, building on those rocks will slow them down quite a bit. I feel like this patch ruins tool cupboards. It does. There's no point. There's no point to tool to, to stack your TCs. Here's another one three right next to each other but I'm sure you can do this on other found under or other rock formations just so you guys know I, I haven't played around with uh, this new building style too much I only played yesterday and it was playing live on vanilla so I'm gonna be kind of figuring shit out with you guys and we'll see if we can figure out some stuff together uh, obviously I'm flying right here but you know you can't fly in vanilla but um, this is just to show you guys some concepts, um, give you guys some ideas. I'm not going to really build like a base design and say, okay, here, uh, build this. I'm going to more or less give you guys ideas to kind of come up with your own, your own stuff. Uh, I might come out with a building video eventually, but, uh, that's not what I'll be doing in this stream. And you guys can kind of let me know because I'm not perfect and I make mistakes all the time. Believe it or not, I make them a lot. So if I miss something, just let me know. So I think, we'll test this out in a sec. Uh, actually, I also want to test out that quarry thing. But I don't think you can get up on this. See, because you can't put the la you can put you can put ladders right here, but how how are you going to get there? You know, I don't I don't know. I don't think you can. Um, you can build up, you know, but there's not enough room on this rock, and these foundations are too high. You can maybe build up like right here. But there's an easy way to counter that. Just build random triangle foundations like this. Make sure you put low walls. And again, this is this is just slowing them down. 
This is just slowing them down. This is not going to stop them because they could pickaxe that. But anywhere, anywhere that you can place a triangle, just do it. See, that, that one blocks this one now. Maybe, you know, double it up like that. And the reason I'm placing these low walls there is so... Otherwise, they can just go like this. And so on. All the way up. So these low walls take up that socket. But anywhere you can build in the rock, you can place those. Maybe put like a little base here or something, I don't know. Or you can just spam this shit right here. <coughs> but a solo player could totally build this. Just build straight up. You might be able to fit a, a larger foundation on here, um, but you want to make sure that your foundations are high as possible. I guess I should have pointed that out to start with. Let me show you why. Is because I can build off of this wherever I have the best foothold. Let me see. Oh, let me put that there. It's hard, but it's possible. There we go. See? Look at that shit. I mean, it's it's probably rare that someone is going to even figure that shit out, but it's possible for them to do that. So that's why, you know, you got to build your foundations high so, so you can't do that. You can just twig up from the ground over. Yes, you can. You can. Um, but like I said, this is just to slow them down. It's not going to stop them. But yeah, you can just spam these wherever you want. If you want, I mean, I don't know who the f who the hell would want to build that big of a tower um, for such a small base. I feel like there's bigger fish to fry. But um, you're you're right. You can totally you can totally build from the, the ground up absolutely what about cave bases cave bases are cool um i don't really see the benefit though i don't really see a benefit to cave bases because they can i mean what what okay let me think of how to explain it like uh what benefit does it give you what benefit does the cave base really give you like the old cave bases were nice because you only can raid the base uh, two dimensionally, you know, but in, in most caves you can you can go around almost 360 degrees the base and You can put ladders on it now, too. If you put it on the very edge, you can't um, But you can put it on the, on the other sides So I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't really see a huge bent. I only see disadvantages to the caves right now uh, especially with the um, the limited exits People can easily camp you if they know where your base is. Uh, if you live in a cave, they know where, where your cave is. Uh, they can also just put a turret right outside outside your cave, and then you can't even go inside your cave. But again, it's it's not very hard for a group of 10 to pickaxe all this shit down, but it does slow them down. So let's test that quarry idea by Gypsy Danger. Ah, yes. Very clever. Gypsy danger with the idea. So if you build on the edge right here, let's test this out. And you can't build ladders. Very good. Oh, right here you can. So. I mean, I don't know if this is really worth it, but it is there. 
This is an option. You can still build them on this side though. Um, so there might be something cool you but can do with no this. It will block building on every side if you put a quarry. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true, man. The only thing though is for, I mean, you could you could do that. It might be it might be better for you know clans and stuff, but for small groups or solo players, I don't know if they'll be able to afford um, that many quarries. There are disadvantages to quarries too. You know, they can use this now as cover. They can use this as their advantage. They now have a ladder up here to use as kind of a height advantage and a, um, a little shooting port against you. I personally probably wouldn't use this. Um, I do have a few ideas of what you can do instead, um, but we'll get in, into those here in a sec. What are those hollow rock spaces? What are, uh, those are really good, man. Those are really good. I, I like those a lot. Um, that's probably the most sought out um, land formation to, to build in right now, in my opinion. So this is the, uh, kind of like the new cave now. Um, downside with this is there's two entrances instead of only one, but that's also an upside because you also have two exits instead of only one. Um, so you can use it as an advantage. But these are, are really nice to build in. Um, if you check, I think it was two streams ago, you can check my VOD on that one. And I, I build a little bit in one just to give you guys kind of an idea of what you can build. Here's another one. But these are, are really good. And um, if, you, if you can find one of these, I would definitely try to cap one of these things. Um, it's easy to kind of start off in because all you have to do is just kind of block this off. I think you can block it off with a, a two by two if you do it like back here. Yeah, you can. Uh, one other thing to think about is building building um, up against rocks. If that makes sense, here's another one of those dick and balls. But like this, for example, like see this little this little spot right here. You could just kind of freestyle in here, but um, you could kind of hide a chest back there and build around it. Probably fit a couple in there. You know, put your TC there, whatever you want. And now, you know, it doesn't really matter that they can get on top of your roof anymore because anyone can get on top of your roof. So if they can use this to get on top, you know, who, who cares, who cares? And this is an eight rocket raid right here. And I mean, that's barely, barely anything. Also, one other thing that I think a lot of people will, um, might have overlooked. Oh yeah, these are nice too. We'll talk about those in a sec. But what I, what I was thinking was, um, you know, let's say you got a two by two or something. And if you want to throw people off and be like, you know, oh, everyone's waiting from the top now, I'm gonna put all my loot in the bottom, that's fine. You can also honeycomb using roofs. Now, keep in mind, you can see the roofs um, through the wall. So yeah, you can, you can definitely see the roofs outside. Um, so that could potentially make the raider not want to go from the top down because they'll see the roof and be like, oh shit, I gotta go through a roof when I get up there. And then, you know, you could maybe actually hide your, your loot up in the roof because um, they might not really wanna go up there. You know, it's just stuff like that that we have to, we have to change our, our way of thinking, you know, because right now it's so, it's so linear and people, I feel like they're too comfortable on the roof um, they're not thinking outside the box and the way this 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 update is is it, it forces people to think differently and You have to use deception more than the strength of your base and even the way things were before I always thought deception was a better better way to go anyways um, I'll show you what I mean and Staying in suspect probably gonna be pissed that I'm gonna show this but 
I'm going to show it anyways. Um, just to show you an example of using deception, because there's so many solo players. Oh, my base is so easy to raid. A solo player's got cucked this wipe. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. I can't roof camp. If you hide all of your, your loot in your base, you're giving the raider a target. Right? They know they know where all your loot is. So don't don't put your loot inside of your base, especially when you log off. You need to put your loot other places where where people won't expect to look. Right? But you know, how do you do that? You know, you can you can hide it in the box in a rock or whatever. I think they might have fixed that actually. You could hide them in stashes, um, you know, stuff like that. But what if you see a base that's already raided? You know, how many how many bases have you raided that already look raided? I'm, I'm sure there's going to be some people. You know, some people are going to say, "Oh, I raid bases all the time that lo that look like they're raided." It's obvious, but fuck that, dude. That's 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 bullshit, man. I mean, I've been playing this game for a long time, and let me tell you, every single time that I've done this, it's never been raided. All right, so. I'm going to show you what I did, and you guys can kind of adapt this idea. Don't build what I'm going to build, but this just kind of will kind of uh, inspire you guys to come up with something of your own, so if that makes sense. I guess what I'm saying is what I'm going to show you won't work anymore because I'm showing you, but come up with your own version of this. All right, so this is it. This is what we got here. Um, this base, it looks like it was used. You're gonna want to put, you know, a few little knickknacks in here, maybe a couple, you know, low-end components or whatever. Um, this looks like it was used. There's charcoal in it. Maybe put a few uh, uh, raw meat in here. Um, this was used too. Just leave it like that. Just leave it like that. Same with this one. So when they come in, they get a little taste, you know, they get a little taste. A uh, little bit of loot. Oh, these guys are just, you know, freaking broke-ass starter motherfuckers, you know. And it's next to a rock. And the reason I, I always build it next to a rock is because a lot of times people will rock it um, the four on the top, right? So, so, where did I hide my loot? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, but um, if you don't know, we hide it in the airlock. Who the fuck would raid an airlock? I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone. I've probably built this a hundred times and it has never been raided. I'm sure you guys have seen this. I'm sure you guys have seen this because I build this every single wipe, but I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to change it now obviously, because I just showed you guys. But this is the kind of stuff that you guys need to be doing, right? This is the stuff that you guys need to be doing. You can't, you can't worry about, oh, my base is so much easier to be raided. Well, stop putting all your loot in your base, man. What the fuck are you doing? By putting your loot in your base, you're giving the raider a target, and it's going to get raided. If they want to raid you, they'll raid you. They'll wait until you go offline, and they'll raid you. It's as simple as that. So this is the kind of stuff that you guys should be doing to protect your loot. If you want to keep it, I mean, if you don't care, then just keep keep doing what everyone's doing, you know? Yeah, you know what's going to be funny now is everyone's going to be raiding everyone's airlocks now. <laughs> Have hidden base. That's also a good idea. That's also a good idea. I mean, really, if you're a solo player, you should be hiding your base anyways. I have soft pick. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's possible that people would do this, but I think it's more likely for your base to get raided than an airlock to an already raided base. What is your opinion over the being able to build twig to raid someone? Me and my buddy just got online raided by some guy using the new twig system we won in the end, but it was scary and would buy a little unfair. Yo, Storm, thank you so much for the donation. Um... I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I, I like the option um, of being able to build on someone's base. I don't think that people should um, feel so comfortable on their roof. I think that if if you kill them, you should be able to get some of their loot. I also uh, like that it's kind of a nerf to double stacking walls. 
because that shit was OP. So, all right, here's one thing. Like, everyone was complaining before. Everyone was complaining about how hard online raiding is. No one offline raids because it's so hard. But now, you know, we... Who the fuck is... I'm flying away. Now, we have an easier way to raid. And now everyone's complaining that it's too easy to raid. Like, you know, people need to make up their minds. Um... I like I like the way it is because it's easier to raid. I feel that it's going to promote more online raids because it's now a viable option. You know, um, before the only time that you can really do a successful raid most of the time is when you're doing an offline raid. Uh, your chances are just so much higher. But now um, you can hit the base from any angle, and and before you the defenders would have a height advantage. So it just it's you know it's you need to bring like twice the the amount of people as the defenders, and it gives the small guy a chance now. It gives the small guy a chance to actually raid uh, larger bases and and any base you know the. There's those huge Zerg bases, like, you know, you see the the Korean clans, they build these big-ass bases you can't do shit against, but, you know, now I'm sure that you're going to find, you're going to find some sort of faults in their buildings, and you can punish them. If you're an experienced builder, you're going to be able to punish a lot of inexperienced builders. There's so much more to the game in Rust. There's so much more to the game than just killing and killing and killing and killing you know there's 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 i mean building is a huge aspect and before people can just you know they can just look at some youtube designs and just build that and okay i'm good let's go pvp but now you know you can still look up youtube based designs and stuff like that but um it's going to take a, an experienced builder to look at other people's bases and find their faults and and you can capitalize on that you can punish them for their mistakes and i like that it's not. It's now not just the PVPers, the quote unquote PVPers that are ruling the Rust servers. You know, there's going to be a lot of a lot of smart people, a lot of a lot of um, base builders that are going to be able to punish these these PVPers now. You know, because um, they're bad builders. Uh, someone sent me a, a message to try this. Probably gonna be fixed now once I show it, but uh, he wanted me to show it, so I will. Ah, very tricky, sir. Very tricky. All right. So basically, what he was showing me is if you um, if you place a locker in this direction. You can't build ladders. <laughs> That's funny. So if you don't want people building up on your shit, then just do this. Do it out of metal. And those lockers are pretty cheap too. They're gonna patch this. I guarantee they're gonna patch this. They're gonna see it. They're gonna patch it. Um, by next week, but feel free to use this until then. But this will stop them from using twig to build up. You can still place a floor, you're right, you're right. Uh, so all you have to do though, to fix that, is just put a lip on the base. Put them high up, though. Yeah, but you can, you can just put more right here. But uh, I wonder though, because you can still go like this. You know, and jump up from there. So maybe if you do like, I don't know, you can put a lip on it. Mm, I don't know, it's not really like foolproof. No one is in make their hc full of locker yeah i don't know i mean it's there if, if if you guys want to do it you know you it's there you might be able to use it for something uh not a long-term solution though not a long-term solution um i probably wouldn't do this most people use twig 
to get on top. I mean, a lot of people don't carry around ladders. Some people might, but um, most people don't. So, so I think it's the twig that you need to worry about more. Any way to double stack ceilings? Kinda, kinda. Um, you can just do this. I mean, you probably already know, but um, you can kind of double stack like this. Like this. Um, oh yeah, and this is uh, something I wanted to show you guys. Um, you could probably get someone with this, but the thing is, uh, it's a little risky because twig is easy to break and um, bear traps are, are a little bit expensive, but uh, I'll show you guys anyways. Maybe you can trap some motherfuckers like this. Oops. But uh, when you place them here, they're almost invisible, see? So if you make some sort of ramp, or if, if some, like a raider places a ramp up here, you know, you can't see that shit. Talk about turrets. Let's see. Well, I think, I think with turrets, let me just show you guys kind of an example. So turrets are effective, but they're a lot more effective if you can, you know, surprise someone with it. Because if they see the turret, they'll just avoid it. If you can hide it somehow. All right, so let me just, let me just show you what I'm talking about real quick. Uh, this footprint might not be the best for this, but hopefully you guys can kind of understand what I'm saying. Uh, the idea that I'm trying to get across to you. So you can use these to kind of stop people from laddering up. You can decide where you want to put this, this opening. Um, obviously they can't ladder up right here. They can ladder up right here. They can't attach anything to my base. They can attach something to my base right here. So most likely this is where they're going to attach um, twig to my base. They could do it over here could do it over here, but they're only gonna put a twig on this side if you give them a reason to. Now, this door might give them a reason to, so if you wanted to, you could maybe um, make this a little bit more open like this, so it makes them wanna put it right here instead. Like this. Now, the trick is uh, where to put the turret. You know, you're forcing them. I mean, you're not exactly forcing them, but you're kind of guiding them in this path, right? So what can you do? Let's let's try, let's try, let's test this out. You know, something like this. I, I, I like this a little bit better personally. That's much better. So I guess my, my advice, my point in this is um, don't give the raider the option where to go. Try, try to guide them, try to guide their path. Uh, put obstacles in their way. You know, if you guide them straight up here, then they're gonna get cucked real easy. Now, if, if, they, if one of them dies, then they could um, build up on this backside. But that should give you enough time to um, loot this guy, obviously, if it's online. The patch note said, uh, your turrets shoot through twig now. Could you hide it that way? You could hide it that way. That's actually a really good idea, Muddy. Super good idea. Yeah, just hide it like that. Bam, hidden. I don't know, I mean, this obviously can still be worked on quite a bit. This is just, you know, the first iteration. But um, hopefully this gives you guys a few ideas of what to do. Uh, what I was going to say, another way to force them on that side, because, yeah, you have you have these uh, barbed wires, the, the high external wooden walls that stop you from laddering up. You can obviously still build like this on, on the back side or the other sides if you want to. But if you place a turret out in the open... I normally like to place my turrets like this uh, so they can't see them from that side. So when they cross, you know, like this, 
they'll just think it's the TC and, and they get cut. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you place the turret right here and if they try to build up on this side, they'll die. It's more out in the open, so if they do see, see it and they want to avoid it, then they're going to avoid it by building on this side. And then when they do build up, they'll have another turret waiting for them just right up here. Bonus clip. Thank <laughs> you. 